Hello, everyone. Welcome back to our channel. Today, we've got an essential topic for all you Linux users out there, setting up and using the GUFW firewall. Whether you're a seasoned Linux pro or just starting out, having a solid firewall is crucial for securing your system. So, let's dive right in. Before we get started, let's briefly discuss what GUFW is. GUFW, short for GUI for Uncomplicated Firewall, is a user-friendly interface for managing the uncomplicated firewall on Linux systems. It simplifies the process of configuring the firewall and helps ensure that your system is protected against unauthorized access. While a firewall is not strictly necessary for every desktop Linux user, it can be a valuable tool in specific situations or for users who want to take extra precaution. It's essential to assess your own security needs and the environment in which your system operates to determine whether a firewall is appropriate for your setup. If you do decide to use a firewall, ensure that it is configured properly to meet your specific requirements. I would suggest you install the GUFW from the Software Center. It is easy and quick and it works just fine. It is already installed on my system. Now that we have GUFW installed, let's configure some basic settings. Open GUFW, enter your password, and you'll be greeted with the main interface. You need to enable the firewall if it is not enabled by toggling the button to on where it says status. The basic configuration of GUFW consists of selecting the appropriate profile with your current network configuration. The GUFW interface provides users with three distinct profiles, home, office, and public. Users can easily select the most suitable profile for their network configuration by simply clicking on the respective option. Let's delve into each of the GUFW graphical uncomplicated firewall profiles. The home profile is tailored for users who are connecting their Linux system to a trusted home network. In this setting, GUFW configures firewall rules to allow typical home network activity. It generally permits communication between devices within the local network while restricting external access. This profile strikes a balance between security and convenience, making it suitable for day-to-day -day use within a home environment. The office profile is designed for users who are working within a corporate or office network environment. In an office setting, network configurations may require a stricter firewall setup to ensure that sensitive corporate data is protected. The office profile in GUFW typically enforces more restrictive rules compared to the home profile. It may limit certain types of network traffic to enhance security, reflecting the needs of a professional or business environment. The public profile is intended for situations where the Linux system is connected to public networks, such as public Wi-Fi hotspots or other untrusted networks. In these scenarios, the risk of unauthorized access is higher. The public profile in GUFW implements more stringent firewall rules to maximize security. It often restricts incoming connections and limits exposure to potential threats. Users should select the public profile when using their Linux system in public places to minimize security risks. If your requirements extend beyond the default GUFW profiles, the GUFW interface facilitates customization, enabling users to introduce, alter, and remove profiles. To incorporate extra profiles, navigate to the Edit tab and choose the Preferences option. Logging Permits configuration of the logging level for firewall events, offering choices such as low, medium, and high. Opting for higher logging levels provides more comprehensive details on firewall activities. Within the Profiles section, you have the capability to add, delete, and rename profiles. To rename a profile, simply double-click on it. Pressing Enter finalizes the renaming process, while pressing S cancels the renaming action.
Returning to the main menu, you'll find a range of tabs in the middle of the screen, allowing you to select between Home, Rules, Report, and Logs. Click on Rules. In the open window, you have the option to set up custom rules for your firewall. To configure these rules effectively, it's essential to grasp the fundamental concepts and policies governing the establishment of firewall rules. These policies are Allow, Deny, Reject, Limit. These are the available policies for the rules you'll add to your firewall. The reject function performs similarly to deny, however, it diverges in that, upon rejecting the requested service and user, it provides feedback to the requesting user, notifying them of the rejection of traffic. Next choose the direction the rule will affect traffic that is incoming, outgoing or both. In the category and subcategory you can specify the programs you want to define restrictions for. Choosing an application option will automatically configure a set of ports tailored to the requirements of the specific application. This feature proves particularly beneficial for applications that may utilize multiple ports, or for users who prefer to avoid the manual creation of rules involving specific port numbers. The simple tab within the Add a Firewall rule window offers an alternative method to manually craft a rule for the firewall. Similar to the pre-configured tab, the simple tab enables users to designate policy and direction preferences. However, in addition to specifying the policy and direction, users must assign a name to the new rule. Furthermore, users are required to define the protocol e.g. TCP, UDP, or both and specify the port, which can be either a single port or a range of ports, dictating the management of traffic. The Advanced tab is designed for proficient and seasoned Linux users, providing an avenue for configuring more intricate rules. This functionality allows users to manage traffic originating from specific IP addresses and subnets, as well as to target diverse interfaces within the system. The Report tab provides a comprehensive view of currently active services, offering details such as protocol, port, address, and application name. In this section, you have the option to either temporarily halt the listening report using the Pause Listening Report icon or create a firewall rule directly from a selected service using the plus icon. This functionality allows users to manage and respond to running services more effectively. The Logs tab is your go-to place for error checking. Sometimes, when attempting to create a rule, you might encounter an issue preventing its successful implementation, leading to an error message without clear details. The Logs tab proves invaluable in such situations as it provides a comprehensive report, shedding light on the specific rule and the encountered problem during the creation process. And there you have it, a comprehensive guide to installing and using GUFW Firewall on Linux. By taking the time to configure and manage your firewall effectively, you're adding a robust layer of security to your Linux system. If you found this guide helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, subscribe for more Linux tutorials, and hit that notification bell to stay updated. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.